Okay. <clears throat> the other day, I received a text from a very, very dear friend of mine that um, I haven't gotten a text from in, gosh, a year or so. It's many states away and, you know, social networking and stuff. I see him. But anyways, this is a very odd hour as well. And it was special, I think, so I thought it should be on video. But anyways, this is what I got. Um. Oh my. Sorry. Okay. I always seem to find myself in the same situation over again. I've longed for a good friend. And every time I've found one, there are always outside forces at work to keep me from them. I guess nothing lasts forever. But there's nothing worse than wanting to spend time with someone who doesn't share the same desire. I live inside myself, dwelling in my own misery, daring not to come out to experience the same fates of the past. I feel as though it's that time again. I know you can appreciate the magnitude of what I'm saying, and if it weren't for my being able to share these fleeting cogitations with you, they would simply do what all my other thoughts do. Swirl around within the confines of my mind until they take their toll. Well, God forbid that. So, um, this is what I said. Um, ah, but it's alas, something does last forever. And this something embodies what evokes life eternally, forever. But anyways, more of that later. Moving on to the situation at your hand, which, correct me if I'm way off here, is time. And not just any kind of time one frivolously spends, pisses away, wastes for plans of security and tomorrow, all the while now, going unnoticed as if its moment doesn't matter at all unless it still has yet to be, which, by when it arrives, won't be seen then either, for it will be now again, and no one sees the seconds before them slipping away. Just when they've passed with shoulda, coulda, wouldas, regrets that never did and cannot be changed. So forward thoughts bring me to now, in this moment that I may get to share with my dear, dear friend and ally. From worlds long ago, our souls have stayed close in the heart of each other. And for me, you have not ever been very far away. All I know, which isn't much at all, and even harder to explain, although I'm sure you understand. But all I know, I cannot touch or see but I can, only because I feel it so incredibly strong as it pulls the strings of colored fluffs in the air that ripple sound waves and vibrations through what appears invisible. As it comes to life, I can see through these human eyes. So yes, time. To be graced with the experience of being with another on purpose, in the now of it together, mutually sharing time with one another. For these moments are what I refer to as spiritual currency that can only be had when sharing is spent earning this profound engagement of the truly priceless, sacred holiness of the awareness within each single moment to pass. I cannot have one without the other. Then it's not had at all. So... Or any selfish whims of mine, mine, mine. Have it. Because it is nothing. Unless it's shared. On purpose. Not just to have. But to be had. Together. To share it with someone. Right? <sighs> There's your purpose. Now I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. Manifest. <laughs>